Hello everyone, welcome to Manari TV. foremost it is a matter for your daughter and the sort of iron heart i want to ask you this question what is the question are you the one pressurizing your daughter to marry the other man no never never what do you should know me by now i'm a man of integrity how can i do a thing like that no i don't even know the man okay if your daughter has decided to marry someone else the two families should, uh, 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 should go on and settle the matter amicably. You are a member of my cabinet, you know. And the, any action, any of your actions, must reflect on me. I want you to use your initiative, your argument. Have I made myself clear? Yes, you are. That's all right. Look, Namso, maybe this is a sign from God. I don't understand what you mean by that. Beautiful question. Beautiful. Look, Namsu, I uh, earnestly think that Nkechi may not be your wife. Listen, Namsu, the greatest mistake that any person can make in life is to marry the wrong partner. I strongly believe that God is giving you an escape route. Listen, my beloved friend. 
I need you to start a small business. Okay? Then pray fervently. And I believe God in His infinite mercy will give you your real wife. You know how he was way back in school? It's a true friend that gives you true advice. Okay, I understand how it used to be in, in the school days. But this is not school days. This is now. I understand. You've been my friend all through. You've been my childhood friend. Exactly. Even through the school days, through the university, even in the business now. You know how it's been. You know how much I love this girl so much. Of course I do. My world revolves around her. I love her so much. I saw her through the university. Just because I care so much about her. I understand all that. You've actually sponsored her education. And she builds her dreams around your wealth. And apparently she has just moved on. And I expect you to do the same. <sighs> okay. You know me. This will not be easy. But I'll try. It's uh, it's alright, it's alright. But listen to this, my beloved friend. Knowledge is incomplete unless it passes through the crucibles of experience. That's true. Nothing in life is easy. Absolutely nothing. That's true. Forget the name. Let me give you a friendly advice. Okay. Collect the diary from Ichi Dike and forget about Nkechi. That means you are the famous Onyabuchi. Yes. I am the famous Buchano. The money making machine. The one that speaks and everybody's idea is waiting. Take my advice. And stay away from Okechi. Now listen to me, Onyebuchi, or whatsoever you call yourself. Do you know what you are? You are an inconsequential idiot and a buffoon who don't know his place well in the society. So you mean you have the gods after you snatched my wife to be? To brace up to me? You just thank your star that I'm in my right mood. If not, I assure you there wouldn't have been a blood stain on my arms when they find what is left of your miserable body. You don't threaten me, young man. Oh, man. You have not seen the last of me yet. Idiot. I strongly advise you to collect the dowry. Yes. Hey. Because there is no point, there is no point holding on to a girl that has rejected you. Even if she decides to marry you now, it won't work. The marriage will not hold. Also, there will be no trust between both of you. Only if you have a watch. No, sir. 
Just look at me. Hmm? After I spent my hard earned money on that girl. I know. I saw her through school. And all she could pay me with is to do this to me. But I want you to forget all you've spent on her. They are all irrelevant. Don't be led by your anger or humiliation. Hmm? I want you to know that there is a very big difference between a loser and a champion. A champion always gets back on his feet. Be a man. Be on your feet. Be on your feet. Eh? Jimmy, you know you You know you go on me. Thank you very much. Thank you very, very much. Hey! Hugo, I'm curious. Why? Why did you not attend your friend's traditional marriage? Okay, she ended our friendship when I advised her against leaving us, and she didn't listen to me. Getting exactly what she has always dreamt for. A very big celebration. Of course. I passed by their compound. Too many cars and the crowd was massive. Oh money can do. By the way, where is your so? Mama. Hi. Hi, Mama. Come on, what's your name? Continue. Uh, Mama, I was just asking her for so. I've not seen him since I came. Where is he? Probably for the masked for you. Mama, we are just discussing of Gechi's traditional marriage. Mm. She said that there were big cars, massive crowd. I heard oh, about the cars, that's what attracted me. Mm. Someone would just use because of money and get married to someone. Ah. Where do you go what you're doing, eh? Let me go and see what I have on the fire. Yes, Mama. Mama, you fast, I'm very hungry. No problem, I guess. Come, why haven't you made your for not this money, it's most money I've given to you. So the last time we met, you told me you wanted to start a transport business. Yes, Father. It's just that I don't have the capital to start it. That's the little delay that I'm having. Okay. Um, I have decided to give you the money. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Why are you yes. sitting down for me? Please stand up. I am not God. Thank you, Father. Father, thank you so much. Um, it's a loan, of course, but you will have a year to pay back without interest. No problem, Father. I promise to do everything to pay back. Thank you, Father. Let the gates of heaven be open so that the blessings of the Almighty God will never cease in your life. Amen. For the Bible says that they that trust in the Lord shall achieve exploits. You are blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen.
Mona. Hmm? What did you buy this meat? It's so delicious. I'll tell you the truth. I bought the meat and um, um, Amudo Junction. Hmm. The meat is just so delicious. <laughs> mm -mm. You see why I've always told you that I should trust God. You see, Mama, I have never doubted God for one moment. You see, in just ten months, I bought two extra new keke mm -hmm. <laughs> and paid my loan, Mama. You paid the loan? <laughs> no, I paid hey. my loan. You have to marry a very good girl from a decent home. You see, that's why I say it will never be well. That means you're already thinking along that line. Yes, Mama. Hey, hey. That is nice. <laughs> So, who, who, who is the person? It's somebody you know now. Oh, yeah, kid, why are you? Uh, no, no, no. Mama, Chere, no, no. It's somebody you people know. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mama is in Hey, hey! My thoughts hey. exactly. Hey! Yeah, mama. mama. Hey, hey. Nemo, the <laughs> way. Well, so, huh? this is wonderful. Wait, brother. Mm. Um, brother. The thing is, you have to bribe me. After all, she's my friend. Mm. Mm -hmm. No problem, Mama. Okay, she's your friend, I know that. But I'm your elder brother, and you know I love her so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> love, Mama! Hey! Mama, have you been noticing the way they stay at me? Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Rosie. I'll get you. Is this you? This time. Hey. It's me. Ngozi. <laughs> You're not looking bad. Thank you. You too, you look good. Thanks, by the I came to drop my mom off. You know, we just got back from London last week. Hey, yes. that's nice. Why don't you just come down now? Let me give you something to drink. No, don't worry. I do that in shop rides, Mr. Beats, and all that. Oh, <laughs> she says so. You're not looking bad. <laughs> How is you. everything? Fine, and you too. You look good. Thank you. <laughs> I heard you're not married to Nonso. Yes, so mm -hmm. married. And he opened the, this thing for you. Yes, yes, he did. <laughs> this is where we are managing. <laughs> <laughs> that's nice, that's nice. After all, you're used to having my loose clothes, the shoes, leftover makeup, and all that. So why not Nonso? Nkechi, mm -hmm. I hope you're not here to insult me. Mm -mm. Because if you are, you better leave. I'm already leaving. Uh, unless I forget. Remember, before you got married to that money Miss Road mommy spent, <laughs> I told you love rules. Love is the most important thing in marriage. Deep down in your heart, you and I know you don't love him. You love his money. But as for me, I love him so and he lost me back. <laughs> Stupid. Our community has been asked to provide two acres of land for the construction of a, a, a teaching hospital. We no longer have communal land. And we cannot fold our hands and watch this government project pass us by. Mama, mama, we can't. Eh? This kind of project will bring the desired development to our town. Yes, yes, yes. Look at Newe, Enugu, and other communities that have a, a teaching hospital. What do we do? That is why I called New Bot. We are going to make a lot of money from, from this government, just compensation alone. I wouldn't like to hear any words discuss the answers. Farmland, the one by the school road. I saw some men with some equipment. And they said you sent them. Is that why? Is that why you have the audacity to come to my compound without greeting me? Eh? To come into my compound without greeting me? Me, what would he get? He would get a good job. He would get a good job. He would get a good his question. I would get a good job. I would get a good job. But for your question, I will answer you. Because I need to tell you the condition of things. That's why I want to answer you. I did not send them. Government did. I am now the liaison officer in this community. Yes. Any land along that area, any land along that area, automatically belong to the government now. What? What's about what? It has a what? What do is that they are measuring what belongs to them or saying what? In a CRC. Iche, Ibu Nasi. Yes. You go down here. Iche, Ika Nasi. My land is also there. And nobody should tamper with my land. Maka Umukari Ike. Isi Ata. Iche, go and give them your own land. Yes. It can never. It can never. Iche, come back. God should have mercy on anybody I catch on that land. Go 
now and ask what happened at Sakibian. What government did to people that wanted to, 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 to resist them? Go and ask! In a yala. Since I became Igwe, I have never seen our youth so angry. After they came to complain to me, it took me some minutes before I could be able to, to calm them down. I promised them I will look into the matter. They came to me first. They came, they were like mad people. I even told them to their face that you are mad. I am telling you. I, I am. In fact, we are lucky that our surveyors escaped. It would have been a disaster. Yes. I think we have to apply another means because delay is dangerous. We don't have a lot of time in our hands. Please, you will know, and you Who are the ringleaders of those youths? Oh, go and you would now. Oh, go and you would. Nala. Eh. What's too much? Planned to come and see you after we left here. Um, see, you two are no longer children. Don't have Rosio Mazi. And we will address you as men. Oh, yes, yes. Um, we are here on behalf of the Igwe and this whole community. See, after a meeting with the government at which the Igwe told them that he was annoyed with the way they came to take our land, just like that. Huh? That the people of this community are hardworking people. The government now decided to pay compensation to everybody that their land will be affected. Eh? Compensation? Compensation? Uh -huh. I'm not interested in shark education. Shut up! What the hell are you talking? You close your mouth and listen! That is how to learn! Eh? I say I'm not interested. Only you interest here, man. No sense. Calm down. You won't blame anybody for being angry over this. Oh, thank you, Che. Thank you very much. However, you would do. The truth remains that the government has decided to build a teaching hospital for us. And this is an opportunity we must all grab with both hands. Ah, it's your car. Because your land is not at stake. That's why you're talking like this. Mine is. Come on, dear. Uh, you, you, you can afford to give yours to the government. You are rich. And you, Chiego, you have money. Yes, yes, yes. I am rich. I'm not disputing that. Hmm? But the fact remains that the government must build that teaching hospital. And look, let me tell you, this time around, they are sending back those surveyors with heavily armed policemen. Yes. So anybody that goes there to disturb them will be arrested. Oh, they will be shot first. Yes. Oh. Now, listen, young men. They are coming to measure the whole area. And they will map out the places they will need for the teaching hospital. Whosoever is affected will be duly compensated. See, whether you like it or not, the government is going there. Yes. Huh? If you go there again to disturb them, you go to jail. How long are you going to go? You go to jail. I mean, you go to jail. 
nephew has made it clear to me that he will never sell any of his inheritance. Hmm. It is not an issue of wanting to sell or not. He will be there and the government will come and take that land, take the whole land and give him peanuts. That's chili up and go hachinye. Yes, but I can stop that from happening. By how? Odogu Kambon, once he sells a portion of that land to me, I will start work on my own immediately. And the money I have paid him with that ego, Obuega Mebunye, he can start work on his own and nobody will come and take the land because the government cannot just come and take any land that has a building on it. Actually, they will pay heavy compensation for it. Ah, huh? Is that so? Oh, oh, that is why I have come to you because I know you will approach this with maturity. <laughs> um, Chief huh? why haven't you started building on that land you own over there? I came here and you're asking me this kind of question. Again. No, I don't mean to offend you. I, I just ask a simple question. Okay. If you must know the kind of structure I want to build there, my land is too small to contain it. That is why I want to buy land from both sides eh, to expand my own. So that I want to build something gigantic there. That is why I've not started work. Uh, mm. Okay, if you must say so, that land is not mine. It's my nephew's. Eh? I, mean, where, where I, I don't have any land there. Talk to Nonso by yourself. And you don't have any land there. Hey, you know? See, as you can see, I'm just coming from your house. Mm, I can see that. Oh, hope all is well. Uh, it depends on how you see it. What is it? I had come to talk to you. Yeah, we can go inside so that I will talk to you. You can tell me here now. What is it? Um, it's about that uh, land issue. Che. My son is not around. He normally comes back, say, 7 p.m. Maybe you should come back at that time and say. <laughs> Nah, you know, your late husband and I were very good friends. I eh? Um, I want to talk to you in person, just you and I, so that I can paint a clearer picture for you. Okay, what I go do here So that you can explain to your son. Huh? Good idea. Ichi, you know women don't have a say in land matters. So I'll suggest whatever you want to tell me. You come back when my son is around and tell me in his present. At the end of the day, he has the final say. Good day, sir. Mokine, look, you married a stubborn and stupid man. Sir? Sir, his stubbornness will lead him to his grave. Is that the you are meant to enjoy your marriage, not endure it. Because you are I offered your husband three million naira. Oh boy, he could three million naira for that parcel of land over there. No, sweet and chingom. No, boy, you no. Then they sell sweet and chingom. He is on a That land is so important. Why don't you sell your own that is close to this one? Chokwode. Chokwode. Sir. Go and open the gate. Nothing will ever make me live in the north. Hmm? Nothing. Let this be the last time you will come before my family and insult yourself, you shameless old fool. Let me tell you this, I cannot sell my land to you. Neither can the government take it away from me just like that. You can save your useless propaganda to those useless village boys who guess. I don't care. I'm a well-traveled and learned man. I don't care. Be warned. Let me tell you, if I see you within 10,000 miles, close to my family again, sing shit. 
So you have the effrontery to walk into Iji Hakarike's house and to be so rubbish. Thank you, banker. Let me tell you something. When an elderly man exceeds his responsibility as a man, he will be treated like a child. Pass a mama, Leave him. Hmm? The reason I kept quiet is that his father and I were very close. He's the only son. If not, I know what to do to him. Get the gamba chili. Allow him. This boy is exceeding his limit. Allow him. Allow him. Allow him. I don't know who else to run to. Eh? Oh, go on. What the Kenyan make? Oh, you want them three hundred thousand naira? Can we Eh? Um, Alpha. I understand your situation, but you will not understand mine. Odro abu na odro. Ega adro. Akadike. Hi. Oko arufoni. Arufoni oriri. O makazina ni mwa adro zeda opuriye. And there is nothing I will not do for you. But the truth is that not the robber, not the robber. Eh? Forget about this car you see me driving around. Uh, forget about it. Eh? Forget about that big filling station you, I, I'm building over there. Uh, Chief Wei, I am owing the bank over 12 million naira. He understands my situation. Eh, God, the raw. Eh? Or the, I will give it to you. Look, uh, maybe in about three or four months' time, by then I would have settled the bank. Eh? I will be able to give you even more than that 300. Okay, I have you. I have you. I The goose will not come out again. Do you understand? Uh, uh, you understand? Alpha, why don't you um, sell that land you have at uh, Amuibo? Yes, yes. You don't want to buy my agent. That's the only inheritance I have now. That's the only thing my, my father gave to me. Don't go there at all. For less than Alo, for less than. If he will borrow one, but so you won't steal. Ah. You can always buy land. What one can you borrow them? You borrow them? The manager will take. Alpha, you hear me? You have to go. We have an important meeting to attend. Chukwode. I can't get you to go. Can you see me? Chukwode. 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 I'm not a village here. 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 I'm for how much? Just 4.5 million naira. So, so? 4.5? Just 4.5. Good day. What is good about this day? Tell me what is good about this day. When you people have refused to allow my daughter to enjoy her marriage, it seems good day. What are you talking about? Oh, we think we don't know. You think we don't know? Everything has been revealed to us. How you people tied my daughter's womb because she refused to marry your stupid and wretched son. What? Yes, you heard me. God punish you for making such an accusation. Punish you, punish your, your entire generation. Punish everybody in this family. Where is she? Where is she? Where is she? You think we don't know that it's your fault that your son became poor? Hey. How are your fault? Hey. Because you didn't want to his happiness and you scattered his wealth. You, you are a terrible person. You think we don't know? You are a terrible that person. you killed your husband. Hey. All hey. the people that have been dying around here. How are you? Hey. 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 Woo! Come on, get you! Hey! Come on, get you! Obim, 
Have they conducted the test? Yes, yes, they have. But the doctor wants to see you and Uncle in his office immediately. I think you should be going. I will. Your mother's test result is out. We discovered that she is suffering from a heart condition that needs to be operated upon as soon as possible. Heart condition? Of course, yes. Though we have given her some medications that will stabilize her. But I must warn you that it's just temporary. You have to do something very fast. You are lucky that you brought her when you did. Okay, doctor. Uh, uh, let's just start the, let's commence the treatment. We are ready as soon as you are ready. All you need to do is to fill out some forms and uh, bring in a deposit of 500,000 naira. Guinea! 500,000? That is just the deposit. The real operation will cost you 1.3 million naira. You mean for the operation is 1.3 million naira? Where do I get 1.3 million there now? Hi! Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Huh? Why is it that each time things seem to get better? Eh? One obstacle from nowhere, no, I get no kosashi in it. Keep it going in this way with 1.3 million there. From where? Eh? What happened last year? I seriously regretted my actions. I, I acted out of ignorance. Please forgive me. Uh, uh, Chief, he's very sorry. He regrets of his action. Uh, please forgive him, uh, Chief. I remember you ran into that dilapidated structure you call your father's house. And you came out with a shovel. And chased me out, Kiku Wom. Huh? And as if that was not enough. Came into my house, my compound, and insulted me in the presence of my friend Ichi Odeka. So, Jator, if not for the fact that I have utmost respect for Oma, I want to give you a So, what do you want? You see, when you turned down my offer, I bought vast plots of land from other families that have land in that area. Well, you are lucky, Chigumwane. You are lucky that I'm the kind of man that likes acquiring landed property. Hmm? Uh, I'll buy your land. I'll buy your land. Okay. But that will be. Next month or so, here we go to the Chief, please. 
please. I, 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 I need this money urgently. My mother's life depends on this. Please, I beg of you. If I can get this money by tomorrow, I, I, I would really appreciate it. Chief, please, I beg of you. Tomorrow, mm -hmm. It's not possible. Look, if you like, lie down, prostrate on the ground. It's not possible. There is no way I can cough out five million naira tomorrow. I don't know, man. My house is not a bank. And look, there is global economic meltdown. Ega draw, if it's Rike. Look, uh, if you want that money tomorrow, or is it tomorrow, Echi? Yes, Echi, uh, yes. uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, Chief. The best I can do for you is to pay you two million naira for that. That's the more amount I'll pay for now. Uh, uh, Chief, two million naira is even lower than the first offer you gave me now. I offered five million naira last year. If it's there, there's change everywhere. Hmm? What I can give you now is two million naira. If you accept it, I will call my surveyor to go and map out the portion I want, and then I'll get my lawyer to prepare the documents. If BH, you come tomorrow, you take your two million. Make up your mind, make up your mind. I have a meeting to attend to. I will send my surveyor to your house so that you go there and map out the land. My lawyer will prepare the documents in DH. You sign and then you take the money. So look where they are. Come with him so that I have a witness. Eh? Well, you can go. is all his throne. He sees and watches everything. In due time. In his time, he will perfect everything. Okay? Stop crying. It's okay. Stop crying. Your tears. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you. Let's go into the parish house, okay? Okay, Father. It is well. No condition is permanent. Thank you. estate surveyor is there, you will sign the documents and you will bear witness to the sale. Hmm? 
then I will give you your check of two million. But, but, sorry, sir. Hello, Father, good afternoon. Yes, I'm there. Okay. Uh, four hours it is. I, I, I will be there in four hours. Uh, okay, Father. Thank you very much. Um, uh, sorry, sir. I am. Uh, I, I don't think I would need your check again. Uh, no, no, so What is wrong with you? Are you out of your senses? Huh? Uncle, Uncle, take it easy. I don't need your check and I no longer need your assistance. What, what is happening there? The Reverend said we should meet him at the hospital in four hours. But first, let's go home. I will explain. What is happening? Let's go. Yeah. What, yeah. what is happening? Uncle, let's go. Ganoso. Mama. Mukunje Webu. Yeah. Ngozi, what is it? Why are you this worried? Why are you acting as if you don't have faith in God again? See, let me tell you something. Whatever that happens in this life, God knows and He sees everything. Father knows everything. Oh, yeah. Father, um, everything has been taken care of. So you don't believe God? It's not like I don't believe God. But Father, the situation of Graham is uh, its just too much. Um, the thing is that I told you that my father is rich. Yes, yes. And generous. Yes, yes. Thank you. Sit down, sir. Thank you. So I called him and explained your problems yes. to him. Mm -hmm. And he gave me what I needed. You mean your dad gave you 1.3 million naira, just like that? Exactly. And I've already paid the hospital. Oh, Jesus. <sighs> now I know why the nurses are preparing Mama for surgery. But, Father, you didn't tell me. I was trying to calm you down, but you refused. So I was just, you know, taking my time before they came in. Father, thank you. Thank you very just much. Thank you. Sit down, please. Sit thank down. you so much. Thank God. Father, thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. You see, the HFR cares for his flaws. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. You're welcome. Enough of this, thank you. <laughs> so, how is your mother doing? Well, Father, um, she's getting better. Yeah. We thank God. Uh, she will be discharged today. Oh, that's a wonderful news. I came to tell you because um, I tried your number and they were all switched off. My numbers? Oh. I didn't even know my phone was switched off. Yeah. Please, and also. This is Brother Timothy. He will be ministering at tonight's crusade. I've heard so much about you. To God be the glory. Nice to finally meet you, sir. Nice to meet you too. I reside in Medigree. The last time you came, I was unable to come to your crusade due to some reasons. Oh, my brother. Thank God that tonight God has provided another opportunity. And I believe that if you can come having strong faith, God is going to meet you at the point of your name. I will never miss it for the world. And I hope to see you after the crusade. I will see you, my brother. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. Um, my regards to your mother, okay? Thank you, Father. I beg to keep my love. That's all right, no problem. Of
enemy put on your way. I can see somebody crossing that barrier. As you start a new journey in life, you will cross that barrier. Believe me, there shall be a better tomorrow for somebody. Brother, you are welcome. What can I do for you? Brother, all my life I have had this near success experience. After I graduated from the university, I could not secure a befitting job. I went into business and the business was going nice. I built a house in Medugri, I bought a car, I was about getting married, and all of a sudden, the whole thing changed. I lost everything. I started experiencing difficulties. But as God may have it, I started Keke business. And everything was back to normal. I finally got married. I finally got married. And um, the whole thing was just good. They even made me the chairman of uh, Keke Owners Association. Everything was just going according to plan. Not until my mother fell ill. That sickness, brother, almost took everything from me. But I thank God for the intervention of my parish priest. God used him again to save me. I just don't know what my life would have been if God had not used him. That has been my story. Ah, to God be the glory. And um, I'm happy that you are hard working. And I thank God for the life of the priest. You did not go to any native doctor or cultic group to seek the solution. And because you have come to the house of God, I am so sure that the God whom we serve will meet you at the point of your need. Amen, amen. Don't be discouraged, my brother. Micah chapter 7 verse 8 says that don't rejoice over me my enemies because I have fallen for I shall rise again and God says that he will restore back to you you know so the years that are eaten by the locust all you need to do is to activate your faith and believe that through prayers and devotion to God you shall rise again Amen, amen. And uh, if you remember the biblical story of Job, he lost almost everything. But when he called upon the name of the Lord, remember he said, I know that my Redeemer lives. He kept him and his hope alive. 
And when that God came and answered Job, he restored back all he has lost. One day, you will rejoice and look back and smile and know that God is able to do all things. So I recommend you embark on fasting and prayers. It will not be too long, even if it's seven days. It's not how long you pray that matter, but with the faith with which you pray. So I'm happy to give you this book free. It's a book I author titled Seven Pillars of Divine Favor. Do it diligently. As the Father is saying Mass for you, we will back you up with intercessory prayers. And the testimony will come you away, my brother. Amen. Now before you leave, we say a word of prayer. Father Lord, I thank you for your son. And I know that you are going to restore him all the wasted years.
say. I just asked you where you are coming from by this time of the night. In my own house. So you've grown wings to the point of questioning me, Bujano. Let me warn you. I can come and go at whatever time I like. This is my house. I was scared. I thought something bad happened. I tried your two cell phones, but none was reachable. I'm sorry now. You better be. I'm not hungry. I'll make sure you don't come to my room tonight. I'm very tired and I need to rest. By the special grace of God, I am fine. My son, uh, is that the young man? Yes, his name is Nonsu. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. Get up, get up, get up. Don't leave that for me. I'm not a reverend father. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, sir. It's just that we are overwhelmed by your kind gesture towards my family and I. So, we are here to show our appreciation. Thank you very much, sir. The Lord will continue to bless you richly Thank in you, Jesus' sir. name. Amen. Thank, you. Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, Lord, sir, uh, this is Honorable Madoka. And, um, I am. <laughs> uh, yes, sir, Lord, sir. Oh, and uh, family. They are all members of my son's uh, parish at Amigo. Good afternoon, sir. You're welcome. Um, yes. Yeah, I was at your town recently. Your town happens to be very lucky to be chosen as the one of the sites for the new teaching hospital. Um, so we were told, sir. The government is there to be shown the exact site for the project. I don't know why your time is delayed. Uh, Honorable sir, I, with all due respect, I don't know if I'll be permitted to speak freely. Yes, of course, you're free. You see, um, my land is among the chosen side for this wonderful project. But with the way things are going, I am seriously against it. I don't think I will give out my land for that project. Because I see no reason why the government would take our land without any form of compensation. Exactly. It has never been done before. Who said so? The Igwe, though we did not speak to him directly, but some of his cabinet members said so. I, seriously, it's appalling. Ishii, are you aware of this? God, this is impossible. No! Oh, no, no. <laughs> Who the hell is she? Ah, nothing much. She's just my house help. What? House help? Uchi, did you just call me a house help? Uchi, house help? Did you just call me what? House help? Uchi, what the hell are you? Did you? Yes, I did. Uchi, Uchi. What are you? 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 What you? What are you? What are you? What are you? What you? What are 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 you? What you? What are 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 you?
papa left on my own. You left on your own? Yeah, you want to get it? Chill. It's a guinea. He didn't send you packing. Oh, you left on your own. It's you. He never made it. You are going back to that same house to apologize to that man. Eh? What did he think that? Oh, you want your things and came back. I'm going to get no man in my gun, okay? I'm going to follow you. Eh? Apologize. You are going back there to apologize. I caught my husband in my home with another woman. Or oh, if I fool. He defended her and beat me up. Mama, he seized my car keys. He seized my traveling documents. He froze my account. And he said I should go back and apologize. You will go back to that house and apologize to that man. He just go to that place. What is wrong with you? Can I teach you? You are my only daughter. And you know that you are my daughter and I love you. I will not mislead you. I want to tell you this and I will not like you to misunderstand. No, she's not saying it. Okay. What I want to tell you is this. One. Adam, we are Africans, I mean African men, we are polygamous in nature. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Papa? When I say Papa, are you, don't you understand what, what I'm saying? Especially the, the rich men, mm? the rich men, that is their character. You want to wash your for me? No, 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 He's my husband. You are going back to the house. Mama. Leave me alone. Don't mama me. Okay, be fair. Sight at the school road. <laughs> yes, again. Yes. As I'm speaking with you now, the honorable is there with the owners of the affected persons of land. Uh, are you sure of what you're telling me? Akarike, will I begin to tell you something I'm not sure of? Are we ways there? The honorable told me that uh, the government will deal directly with the owners of the land through his office. It's wonderful, my dear. Hi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a dozen. Why are you laughing? What is so funny about this? Why are you laughing? Is that not a good news? Get out of my house. Get out of my house. Get out. Get out. Get out of my house. Get out. Chukwudi, open that gate. It's okay. I can't get It's okay. You're not going to be there. Get out. 
That she did. Eh? I mean, how can a woman just leave her husband because of one stupid flimsy excuse like that? Who wants to get out of my first year? See, Eh? So we really scored her down. Off of Obeleka, and you were an anchor. We almost killed her. So that's why we brought her so that she can come and apologize. And we'll make sure we will see her apologize to you. What's up with that? 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 What's up with This is Kenneth, huh? This is Kenneth. Do you know you? I, I know you. He's a criminal. He's a criminal. 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 You under arrest? I'm under arrest. I don't know that. I'm under arrest. Amam, you are pretending as if you don't know the business that young man is doing. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the business he's doing. You are a criminal too. Why can't you go even car be gone? In case. My business on it. Shut up! Get out! 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 Honorable instructed that you should report at the local government headquarters first thing tomorrow morning to collect a check of 100 million naira. For me. <laughs> thank you, sir. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Oh, God. I appreciate you. 